فأتت به قومها تحمله She now arrived, it was late afternoon when she arrived with the child back to her people going back into the place where she was in seclusion holding the child at her chest and walking very carefully very very calm, relaxed her face was beaming with light and she was looking very happy normally when a person's committed a sin they're very sad, they don't want anyone to know and she's holding the child, covering the child very well the people began to see and started saying isn't that the Mary who's supposed to be in the place of worship isn't she the one who's supposed to be the pious isn't she the one who is the descendant of the prophet Harun and because he was so pious and she had his blood in her being from his lineage they always reminded her you are from the family of such a pious man your mother is pious your father is pious your generations your grandfathers it dates back all the way to Harun so Allah says قَالُوا يَا مَرْيَمُ لَقَدْ جِئْتِ شَيْئًا فَرِيًّا O oh Mary, you have come up with something very very grave, very very uncommon, unprecedented, something very dangerous and detrimental, something huge. What is this all about? يَا أُخْتَ هَارُونَ مَا كَانَ أَبُوكِ امْرَأَ سَوْءٍ وَمَا كَانَتْ أُمُّكِ بَغِيًّا O sister of such a pious man, O person who is from the lineage of the Prophet Harun, your father never engaged in adultery. He was a very, very pious man. Your mother never engaged in adultery. Your father did not commit sin like this. What is this all about? Now this was an accusation of adultery, an accusation of engaging in illicit activity. How did you start? How did you become pregnant? How did you get this child? They're all asking, they're accusing. Who were the people at the time? They were Jewish people in the sense that they were Banu Israel. فَأَشَارَتْ إِلَيْهِ She knew the child is going to speak. Subhanallah. I don't need to say anything today. So when she pointed to him, they looked at her. They realized she doesn't want to talk. She's now pointing at the child. Is she foolish? قَالُوا كَيْفَ نُكَلِّمُ مَنْ كَانَ فِي الْمَهْدِ صَبِيًّا they said, how can we speak to a child in a cradle here? Imagine a newborn baby. You want to talk to a baby. And as they were in this discussion, and they were talking to each other and talking to her and telling her, how foolish are you? You want us to talk a babe, to a baby? They heard the baby say, Inni Abdullah. I am the worshiper of Allah, the slave of Allah. Allah has given me the book, the revelation, and He has made me a prophet. Imagine a little child talking, a baby speaking. And Allah has blessed me wherever I go, it is blessed. For as long as I live, Allah has instructed me to engage in prayer and to give our charity, to be very charitable. May Allah make us steadfast with our prayer and our charities. And may He accept that from us as well. And He has instructed me to be obedient to my mother. Allahu Akbar. Here you have the role of the mother once again. This was special, but that rule applies to all of us for our mothers and our fathers. Sometimes some people neglect the mother, some people neglect the father. Remember, we need to respect both parents. We need to understand their roles and we need to know that they are priority in our lives. And we ask Allah to make us parents whom our children can look up to as role models. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَبَرًّا بِوَالِدَتِي وَلَمْ يَجَعَلْنِي جَبَّارًا شَقِيًّا He has instructed me to be obedient, to be dutiful unto my mother. There was no father involved. That's why Allah says, my mother. And he has not made me from amongst the sinful. And he has not made me from amongst those who are unfortunate. And peace be upon me. The child is still speaking. Subhanallah. These people are baffled. They are gobsmacked, to use the right term. Don't know what to say. Silent, just watching. He's saying, may peace be upon me the day I was born. 
the day I shall die, the day I will be resurrected, may the peace of Allah be upon me. He is speaking. They are shocked. So how do they react? These were priests. These were rabbis. These were people who used to teach the religion, watching. They had just accused someone of adultery. And what happened? As they are watching, they are looking, they are hearing. There is no ways this is magic. There is no ways this is anything but a miracle. There is no ways this is anything but a sign from Allah the Creator. It is miraculous. They know the piety of this woman. They know the family. They know everything. They can see she's not worried. They can see the miracle child. They can see everything. But they are worried that if we now acknowledge this child, they are thinking future. This child is going to take the carpet from beneath our feet, pull it. And what will happen? We won't have leadership anymore. Nobody's going to follow us anymore. People will now follow him. He is going to be the boss. He's going to be above us. The best thing for us to do is from now, let us fight him from that stage. So they continued. No, we're not interested. We would like to un you to understand this is a sin. You have committed immorality. You've come with a child. This child is illegal, illegitimate. This, what, this is what the Jewish people had said. And the Quran makes mention of this. They continued accusing Maryam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we purified her. She was pure.